Charlie, what did happen? Rob this and this be one on YouTube page. But today in video, I will show you some of the things where you for look out for when they buy this sneaker. You know they mean say this be the only things where you will fit take legit check. But at least it will help you make you avoid some of the fake ones where they lay down. After that, I will share my personal opinion about the kicks with you. Then I will take put my feet up to make you people see how they look like. Today we can look at the Jordan 1 High OG Yellow Toe, aka Taxi. The box itself they come in some dark yellow. You would think say it be orange cell, very dark yellow. Where the text and right on top be Nike, you get a swoosh and it be boldly printed on it. Observe the font sizes, then how they print the text very fine. Yet yeah, they come with the RFID. If you peel this sticker off them, you can see some RFID tag for the back there. The, some of the fake ones also get the RFID tag, but the difference be say the original ones, some serial number they the RFID in back. If you look the lid inside, them all they come with some red stamp for inside. Then go feed it different places, but then for day the lid inside. Also, then write some swoosh for here where the swoosh itself be here. The paper too no be glossy. For this video, I will use the right foot of both shoes. The first thing I did notice be say the authentic pairs don't come with an extra lace. So if you buy your shoe where you get extra laces, suspect bro. Okay, pop, no extra laces. Another thing where I noticed we say it will come with this dura sauce sock liner. If yours they come with paper, suspect bro. If you look the sock liner, some logos they top one, two, three, four. Also, the US size of the shoe could they on them. So this be US 10, you see, they print some 10 for here, and this be US 9, you see, they print 9 for there. So 9. 9.5, 10, 10.5 and write die cut sock liner for back as you already know the first thing for do be say is for smell them a strong chemical smell my bro suspect you notice say the leather for the toe box there be very soft check the stitching for the shoeing body check the entire shoeing body the stitching for be clean see how clean the stitching be make you watch look the stitching for the toe box in there Two lines for here, all be evenly spaced out. Make your idea that one do top. Pop the stitching for the toe box. Bro, everything be clean. The color of the sneaker itself is some dark yellow. If your own come with be light yellow, bro, suspect. Where the white panels not be white, they are sale. The midsole too is sale. Make I compare them to some white sneakers. See. You can see the difference? If you look the wings logo too, you see say the D then the R they touch. The D then the R they touch. See this one too. Some fakes, the D then R they touch. But at least this will help you avoid some of the fakes where the D and R not they touch. Notice the font size then the positioning of the Nike Air and the tag. For the tongue they top. See how they're not they like. This be how the text will be like. Another easy giveaway be the shape of the sneaker itself. If you look the back there, it will come in like some hourglass shape. Starts off from the top wide and then it narrows towards the middle and it comes out again. If you look the color of the shoe, you see say it be a bit wide for here. But on the fake pairs, they normally be narrow. Some of the pairs will be, be more tumbled than the other, but at least it still be tumbled leather. If you check, some of the yellow stitching they come off from this side. See this pair too? See if I see some yellow, but the fake pairs I notice say more of them will get the bottom part of the shoe be known as the outsole, where you see say the color be very dark yellow, almost orange. If you look the tip too, you see say the stars will then they there, stars all across the side. This be the insole, the color be deep yellow as well. This type of insole is known as the dream cell insole, it'll be very, very soft. You see how they like if you won't come way be stiff, bro suspect the insole too for get the size of the sneaker for inside like at the top you see say this be s9 i'll be size 9 this be s10 size 10. this be how they stitch the inside too you they see how they like very clean okay this padding for here be some single foam it has to be a single foam so if you wrap your hands or your fingers for this side you for no feel any break within them it has to be one single material i notice say on the fake pairs it be normally two materials so you will see say if you rub your hands for this side you will feel some break in the foam. Have you know what be next? Black light test. 
the stitching for the shoe inside for glue. Make sure say plenty glue, no day the shoe in body. This one as you see, no glue there in body. Where they're stitching to the stitching for the midsole there for no glue, or the stitching for here for glue. That be the other thing where I notice. Make you people know this me. Yeah, then I won't just flex my Mpasa t-shirt. That'll be all. The color blocking is similar to the Jordan 1 bread toe and the fine green watch. This they look just like the Shine Down. Attention, attention. Shine Down be some American rock band where Jordan brand gave them their own PE. For my research, I found out say only 23 pairs were made way before friends and family. The only difference between this one and the Mahon be say the Mahon get some black exclamation mark for the back here. That would be the major difference between this one and the Mahon. Currently, the Shine Downs is sold for crazy amounts in the resale market. This be one of the best Jordan ones we then released this year. The leather quality, the colorway, the color blocking, everything just there on point. So Agufi Talk say this be the second best Jordan one released this year. The first obviously is the Chicago Lost and Found. At the time where they filmed this video, you still go feed grab these shoes at retail. We also the resale prices not be that high. So if you buy this shoe a little above retail, it's still a win, bro. Yeah, so that was it. Charlie, you go really join me if you people go hit the subscribe button, like the video, share them. Charlie.